How's it going everybody? It's Sparrow Senpai here and welcome back to another video. Now, it's been a while since I've done a toy review and I did um, promise you guys the next toy review what I'll be doing is a Godzilla figure review. But that won't be until later on. But today I have a very special, special, special video for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at two more Hammond Collection figures. And these ones I was pretty excited for from the get-go. It is the Juvenile T-Rex and the Juvenile Stegosaurus from The Lost World of Jurassic Park. Now, if you can't tell, I love the Hammond Collection um, line of figures. And if you can't tell, I I do tons of reviews for them on my, on my channel. And sometimes they can be pretty hard to find and pretty expensive, like the Brachiosaurus Hammond Collection figure, which sadly I couldn't be able to get my hands on because A, it's expensive, and B... The Target that I go to doesn't really have that much in terms of Jurassic World figures. But thank God for the internet. <laughs> so today, we're going to be taking a look at the Juvenile T-Rex first before we get to the Stegosaurus. And luckily, I have my scissors to help me get this figure out. So, why not? Why, why don't we take a look at it? And I gotta say, these Hammond Collection figures can be very well detailed and... They, be, they are pretty accurate to their movie counterparts. And if you can't tell, I love the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex has always been my favorite dinosaur since, you know, the beginning when I first saw Jurassic Park. And when I first saw The Lost World, I was like, wow, there's more T-Rexes out in the island? And better yet, there's a baby. And I've always loved the baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I've always loved how cute it was. And it also comes with accessories too, which we'll see in a bit. So let's take a look. Let's take the accessories out. <clears throat> and sometimes the figures can be very difficult to take out. Well, <laughs> like that. And the tail. And here we are. We have the little munchkin himself out of the box. And he's pretty well detailed too. So let's just take put the tail in. And sometimes... Is it in? Oh, it is. So this is the um, juvenile T-Rex from the Lost World of Jurassic Park. <clears throat> He's actually really well sculpted. And on the box, it um, it tells the story of the Tyrannosaurus himself. Um, but anyway, um, a lot of people think that um, the baby juvenile T-Rex from the Lost World of Jurassic Park was in Jurassic Park 3. Which I have to disagree on because that's not the same Rex. And by the looks of it, he looks like his his other arm is a little bit loose. But it's alright. As long as the figure is still intact. And with all of these Hammond Collection figures, they are pretty well articulated. And the tail, sometimes some tails, uh, most of the theropods, they have a bendy wire in for... Not really much opposability, and the tail came out. There we go. <clears throat> and sometimes, if you're very, very not careful, the bendy wire can possibly break if bent too far. And like I said, this, this one's um, arm is a little loose, so it's alright. And with all Hammond Collection dinosaurs, well, some of them, their mouths can even open. Well, some of them. Um... If you really, really, really can't really tell, I, I'm actually in love with this figure. And also, the um, the accessories. This is, I assume this is where this is the, you put the... I don't know which leg it was on in the movie, but I guess it was on this leg? Uh, and not all dinosaur figures come with accessories, except, you know... The movie accurate ones, which all the Hammond Collection dinosaurs are pretty accurate from the movies. So we just put this on, and there we go. We have the um, we have the uh, the uh, what is this called? The cast on, I guess. And then we have the mouth guard, which was seen in the movie where. One of the characters put the mouth guard on the T-Rex so it doesn't, you know, make that annoying. I shouldn't say annoying, but the most adorable sound ever that any baby T-Rex could ever have, that ever make. 
so this is the Hammond Collection um, Tyrannosaurus. Um, it looks pretty well detailed like in the movie. I mean, some people said that the Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex was the same as the baby T-Rex from Jurassic Park 2, which, again, I disagree because their scale patterns are different in terms of T-Rex. So that was the, um, the baby T-Rex. Let's move on to the baby Stegosaurus, which is also pretty adorable if I do say so myself. If you can't tell, I love baby dinosaurs. Dino why can't dinosaurs stay small? Um, I am hoping that they do a Carnotaurus Hammond Collection figure. I love the Carnotaurus. If you can't tell, I love the Carnotaurus from Fallen Kingdom. And I'm really hoping they do a Indominus Rex um, figure too, along with a Indoraptor. I don't believe they did a Dilophosaur figure too. I haven't seen any pictures of it, but I have heard that they're do that they that they're doing a um, a bull or male T Rex figure. But you know that hasn't been created yet because of funding. And um, oh, I have to do the other side. Oh, there we go. That <laughs> that was easy. <clears throat> and I love these little ones. And here he is, the baby Stegosaurus. Which is by far the most cutest thing I've ever seen in any dinosaur-related movie. Uh, let's see, let's... Get, there we go. And just like that, out of the box. There we go. Oh, the tail. It's a very tiny tail. And this one doesn't have bendy wire. This time it's uh, on a ball joint. That's pretty neat. Just stick the tail in, and there we go. The baby Stegosaurus from the Lost World Jurassic Park. And it's, oh, I guess I didn't. There we go. And like I said, it's not bendy wire this time. The Ankylosaurus didn't have a, um, didn't, was, or the, the Ankylosaurus's tail was on ball joints too, which I, I think the, the herbivore dinosaurs have ball joint tails, I believe. The Triceratops, I think the Triceratops didn't. But I think the Ankylosaurus did. I did review the Ankylosaurus before. And here, I don't know if this baby Stegosaurus was a male or female. I didn't. I, I don't think they clarified on that in the movie. But um, yeah, this is the baby Stegosaurus. And tons of articulation. Well, in terms of... Well, here we go. Some ball joints right here. Um, the back legs don't move much at all in serves in case of side to side and this part i think you i don't want to try to bend it too much because i don't want to break this because you know i just got these and sometimes these articulated dinosaurs can be very fragile and i think this one's oh, mouth can open too yep <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> the cutest the cutest little thing ever i love these hammond collection figures um, they are pretty well detailed, and I think by far, I think the baby T-Rex is a lot bigger, are bigger scaled than the Stegosaurus, but the baby Stegosaurus has a very small tail, if you couldn't tell. Um, the neck can, can rotate. Um, the head, not so much, but the neck is on a ball joint. Um, the body is just a solid piece, and the tail could... Well, well, the tip of the tail can rotate, but not the the down part. And this, and the plates are pretty well sculpted. And the back legs can also, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. So yeah, these are. Let me put these up to the camera. Mm -hmm. So these are the Hammond Collection st uh, Baby Stegosaurus and the Hammond Collection. Baby, well, hold on. Let me see if I can. There we go. The Hammond Collection, Baby T Rex, and Baby Stegosaurus. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if this video was a little short. I mean, these are these are the only two figures that I got. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which one do you like the most and which one's the cutest. I think both. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry that the toy review videos were a little lacking in uploads. I've been focusing on other videos and stuff like that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.